So let's say that we have our list of kids. Again, we're just going to work with kids. We have uh, Emmett, Ellie, and Miriam. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we can do is let's just, you know, if we, if we just do this, then this is going to display them in a list, like with yes. the square brackets. But what I can do is maybe, you know, I can select, you know, the first kid. So I'm going to select the first kid from the list. So that's going to be Emmett. And we see that there's still like this quotation marks. Yeah. If we want to display it, that's when we use print. All right. So you see, it's just a little bit nicer. There's no quotation marks. So that's just one kid. Now let's. So hold on. Yeah. To get Emmett without quotation marks, you just you write print. print first underscore kid. Yeah, because that's what, how I assigned it. I did first kids underscore. bracket zero. So right. I selected the first kid. Yes. I assigned it to this variable, and then I printed it. Okay. All right. Now let's do this for each of the kids. Print them out. Okay. So I'm going to say four kid kids in kids. So in this list. Yes. In the list of kids. For each element. Another way of reading this is for each element mm -hmm. in kids, mm -hmm. I want you to print the kid. Oh. So let me look at this. Kids equal. You put every kid with quotes and a comma. And then for kid, in kids, the element, I want you to print kid. And they did it. So what this is doing is this is specifying how am I going to refer to each element. So yes. it's going to go one by one through each element in the list right. and say reference that element as the variable kid. Yes. Okay. So I can name this variable whatever I want. Right. Okay, as long as I'm consistent. Here I'm accessing, going through each kid, right. calling it whatever, right. and then printing whatever. Right. So I just have to make sure, you know, if, I, if these don't line up, it, now here I'm going through each kid, calling it whatever, and printing foo, but I never define foo, so that's going to break. So I just have to make sure that these two things line up. And kids refers to my list. Yes. Of kids. Okay. So it's important I use the word for. Yeah, for, for is a keyword. In for stands for print. No. For stands for loop. Go through every element in the list. For stands for loop. But you had to write. And then I said what to do. What do I do? I print. A four. So I have four kid in kids colon oh you didn't show me colon colon this indicates now i'm now we're done saying go through each kid name it as kids and we're about to say what do i do with each kid and you say print it yeah and here i want to print it but we can imagine doing other things 